So let's go to the next proposal, LAC 2021-4 version 1, permit for transfer and non-return of resources. We invite Jordi Ballet to present the proposal, reminding him that he has 10 minutes. A very important thing that I forgot initially, very quickly, we have to consider that the IPv6 uh, policies uh, um, were uh, appeared as a policy in all uh, RIRs, and uh, the error has been reproduced, and until we realized it in somewhere, uh, we, we haven't corrected the rest. This proposal corrects um, an, an inconsistency between the need of a transfer. And this is something that appeared because of a, uh, when we discussed uh, the uh, transfer policies. And I think that these are editorial changes and they are not significant and to, so as not to present several proposals even for, uh, for different uh, uh, topics. The issue basically is that when we approved the transfer policies, we uh, didn't realize that we had inconsistencies. That is that when you try to do a transfer, if it fails, given that when the transfer, you do the transfer, you are rec recognizing that you don't need to use the resources in some cases, maybe not in all, you must give them back. So. There is an eternal discussion. Is it really necessary to have a transfer policy, or wouldn't it be more honest not that those that are not using their resources to return them? But the community has chosen not to follow that path. Most will not return if they have a surplus. They they will keep them even if they are not using them. So the community has already decided in that regard. And as I said, there are three sections that are apply being applied. Uh, are applying only IPv4, and I'm fully convinced that they are applied for IPv4, IPv6, but they're only in the manual of IPv4, so they are not well uh, uh, placed. So the text that I propose as completely new is a permit for transfer and non-return of resources. Maybe the title is not the best, maybe it's not the best appropriate, but I think that it summarizes what we intend. And what we intend is that even if a transfer fails, we are not recognizing that if a, a transfer fails because the receptor does not justify the need, then the person that is transferring those addresses as they have a admitted that they don't need them and that's why they were transferring them, they should return them. So what we specify is that it won't be mandatory to return resources to LACNIC, but that they must transfer in successive occasions. That is, we give them a margin so that later on they will try uh, a transfer with the same beneficiary um, or maybe with the same one, but now after justifying it. Because if not, um, in the application of the RCA or, or the service agreement, LACNIC could, I'm not saying that they will, but uh, could request it. And it would be unfair because some are asked and others are not. And we should have the same tools for all and very clear from day one, both for, for those who have been working in the community for a long time or if they are coming uh, just now. And then the um, there's a uh, there's a, a publish and they say they will publish, but uh, that's an error. One is geolocation. The content don't matter. Uh, the contents don't matter. It's only that it's IPv4, and it's obvious that it refers to the entire manual. I think that uh, LACNIC applies it both to IPv4 and IPv6 resources, but they are included only in IPv4. This happens with the paragraph on geolocation with uh, security and confidentiality. It's obvious that LACNIC maintains confidentiality both for the request of IPv4 and IPv6, so it doesn't make sense to include this text only in IPv4. And finally, with regard to the process of requests, it's obvious that LACNIC processes just the same, the request of IPv4 and IPv6 and ASN. 
So it's not that I, in IPv4 it's a uh, fair with everybody requesting and not with IPv6. It's obvious that it's not like that. In several RERs, they have modified the legal documents, and instead of changing them through policies, they have changed the RCA. Not in the three last, but in the non need for that there's no need for return. And in uh, APNIC, as the transfer policy is, has not been approved in my last version, I added that they have one year uh, before AFRINIC. Uh, will request them again and they can make other attempts for transfers. Here, I didn't put any deadlines because I think it's not necessary. In Afineco, for different circumstances, it's better to mark the deadlines. And with this, I would finish this part uh, and I think that I would have three or four minutes. Thank you, Jordi. Thank you, Jordi. Now we invite Maria La Rocha of the staff of LACNIC who will present the impact analysis in five minutes. Thank you, Tomas. Yes, we have an impact analysis of the proposal presented by the author. Our comments are as follows. One of them is that LACNIC interprets that the permit for transfer and non-return is what is happening at present. When you start a transfer process, the current policies do not require the uh, to uh, that uh, the reason for the transfer should be pointed out. Uh, we must not uh, uh, assume that uh, they are being transferred because they don't need them. So if they reject a transfer, uh, LACNIC does not require the return. And we, in the impact analysis, we give a list of the different reasons and scenarios for which uh, the organizations may decide to transfer the resources that you have them on your screen. So, yeah, it seems a good moment to point out that the idea of this proposal is timely because it clarifies an inconsistency between different uh, sections in the manual. However, we suggest uh, a clearer way of drafting paragraph 236. That's one thing. On the other hand, as the author just mentioned, there are certain sections 232132232214 and 232215 that the author proposes to take them to the definition section likely considers that they are not the definitions as they are but mandates so we believe that it is not proper to send them to the definition section and in if the author decides that the discussion needs to take place, then uh, we believe that it should be included in another proposal independently uh, because it, it, it has nothing to do with the first item that I mentioned in the previous paragraph. Therefore, the minimum changes made in those definitions were not taken into account in this impact analysis. And if the community decides that uh, that you have with another proposal that you have to move that to another section or whatever uh, but drafted another proposal then we will analyze that in the new text uh, if uh, that happens our recommendations have to do with uh, the text of uh, paragraph 236 our the text that we suggest is as follows although initially the allocation and assignment of addresses are based on the justification of need. The assignment of the trans the implementation of the transfers uh, disable maintaining such a just uh, rational. So it won't be mandatory to uh, give the resources back to LACNIC if uh, there are transfers or mergers or fate acquisition. So we, su we suggest taking this to those three sections. Finally, the impact on LACNIC systems. We haven't identified any, not at least not in this version. That's all. Thank you, Mariela. Jordi, you have 10 minutes. We can't hear you, Jordi. Jordi, are you going to answer? Oh, my apologies. The audio was not working. I think it's it's clear that there was an inconsistency and LACNIC admits it. I put there the, the text of the service agreement and the policies that uh, 
say so. LACNIC has uh, proposed an alternative. However, LACNIC's uh, alternative is not mandating the uh, to transfer the resources. And I think that uh, for the sake of the community, if a transfer fails, it's, it means that you have an excess uh, uh, resources because you are not uh, uh, transferring because uh, uh, unless you have a surplus because uh, it costs. So we could analyze that. And however, for the sake of the community as well, okay, so the transfer failed, but it's clear that you were advancing in uh, the implementation of IPv6, you had uh, resources for whatever reason, and we give you the choice that you may transfer them later on. I mentioned that in the case of Afrinic, we put a 12-month deadline. It's being discussed. It hasn't been approved yet, but I think that here we wouldn't need a, a deadline. Now, if you want to put a deadline, I think it's a good idea. Now, I don't think that we should uh, leave it uh, just uh, uh, to up to uh, the, saying that you're never going to check that. I think it's important to release resources to the newcomers or to those that need a bit more for the IPv6 transition. In the case of the m and I think it's completely different. The mergers and acquisitions, because you may just, just justify it if a, a, a merging or an acquisition fails, so they shouldn't be mixed. Uh, and the other thing, I think it's correct because in the example of the ROA and um, the, uh, the slashes that are mandates, so maybe that section needs to be renamed, such as including um, uh, definitions and general rules, or to divide that uh, section into two, but uh, but then afterwards you have to uh, change the numbers in uh, the entire document. So I'm not the first to include uh, definitions in uh, or things in a section that is definitions. They are not. I'm not the first. And this, and finally, if removing this part of the proposal, if I am not wrong, while I, I didn't put this in the proposal, but but when I presented this proposal. The moderator suggested to change the title to say and other changes of the PP or something of that sort. Uh, but we didn't change because you can't change uh, the title. And that uh, doesn't make sense because we've done it in the past and the PDP does not prevent you. So I can update the title of a proposal as any other part. So, and with that, thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Jordi. So now we'll start the discussion. So we invite you to share your your views and give your feedback in the Q and A panel in uh, the bottom toolbar, the Bate Papo for Brazilians, or else. Raise your hand so you can be given the floor. It's uh, it's very interesting for you to say whether you are in favor or against, not just uh, to say your comment. So each question has two minutes, and if the author can respond, has two seconds to respond. Two minutes, sorry. Hello, Janina. How are you? Fine. So let's get started here. I have the first comment by Fernando Frediani, who says, I don't agree that uh, adopting a transfer policy uh, by doing that, uh, the community pointed out that this would be uh, the preferred method when returning resources to LACNIC. If an organization has started a transfer process for me, it was very clear that it's uh, pointing out that they no longer need those resources, and we can't pretend that not to be like that, even if it's difficult. What to do? What should we do in situations where um, the receiver is not capable of justifying the need and the addresses uh, in order to receive them? They must uh, be left in the hands of LACNIC and uh, the NIRs and based on the information in each situation. So I don't agree with this. I answered Fernando in the list, and uh, I, I partly agree with him. I would have preferred not to have any transfers if everybody were honest and returned the resources they don't need. Uh, that would be my uh, preferred idea. But it, it's clear that you have to do transfer policies. And I think that not doing something as what I'm proposing while you, well, 
uh, putting uh, that uh, the NER or the uh, RIR to do be in charge of the uh, transfer because there are many details that will not be easy to justify, including the list that Mariela mentioned of the different reasons. Um, that may lead uh, to a transfer. It's a very complex analysis, very difficult, and I think that the sensible thing to do is to say, well, the transfer has failed, it's not your fault, it's a fault of uh, the one that was going to receive them, but you have more chances to return them. I insist that if the community decides that you need a, a, a deadline, as I suggested uh, in Afrinic, I have no problems, but I think that in this community, we get along much better. Uh, we, we are in uh, uh, better off than in Africa, but I, I, I don't think I have no problems in doing it that way. Thank you, Jordi. No raised hands. There's a comment in the Q&A panel. Janina. Ricardo Patara says, I'm fully against it. Uh, mainly because it would eliminate the uh, justification the rational for the need well the justification of need has was uh, eliminated when we accepted transfers if we don't uh, develop this proposal or a similar thing the uh, obligation of LACNIC with regard to the service agreement and the uh, policy manual would be to recover the resources. They are not doing it. I'm aware of that. I think it's a correct thing not to do it. But with uh, the uh, wording of the law in the hand, they should do it. And the way to solve this is this or a similar thing. Thank you, Jordi. Janina. There's another comment by Ricardo in the Q&A. In addition, there are other problems from my perspective. The text proposed uh, indicates that there's an obligation to transfer. In paragraph 236 proposed in the text, it says, it won't be mandated to return resources to LACNIC, but they will have to be transferred in successive occasions, that is, it says that they must continue to, to transfer them. That doesn't uh, mean uh, it makes no sense. So uh, the author suggests that this text should be applied for 23217. And I added that it would be M&A and, &A and uh, 23218, that is other transfers. And it doesn't, and this obligation doesn't make sense for the case of 23217. It's not a correct, uh, um, um, interpretation to say that uh, the concept of justification of need was eliminated. Uh, it's not like that. Uh, for IPv4 transfers, you need to justify your need. So the affirmation, the, the statement doesn't make sense. Ricardo is right in the last things that he said. And precisely now, the justification of uh, the need, if the transfer fails, it continues to be valid. And that's a problem because LACNIC should check whether those resources are not needed by the uh, offer What Ricardo is saying, well, I'm not applying this to the M&A cases. As a matter of fact, I answered so to the impact analysis. I think there's no need to clarify it. I think that the text clearly says transfers, not transfers and M&A. You may clarify it simply by adding the complete section number. But precisely, I answered an impact analysis that the M&A cases are different and they should not be included here because you may have a company that will merge with another. Both justify the need for resources in each, if both have. But if the, f the merging uh, uh, fails, then uh, there's uh, you can also have a justification. So uh, LACNIC can check that uh, whether there's an attempt for a transfer in an m &A, They may require the justification of need any time to anybody. So here we only want to avoid the non m and transfers. And that justification, if the transfer fails, will make it mandatory to return the resources. Thank you, Jordi. Okay, we have no hands. Nobody's raising their hands in person or in the Zoom session.
Okay, great. My script, I, I need to see it in writing, otherwise I can't say anything. There was one more question in the Q&A, or someone just submitted a question in the Q&A. Do we have time? Yes, we have time. There is another question. It is in Portuguese. Franco, maybe do you want to read it? Yes, Fernando Fratiani says, what to do if there is a succession or tries or transfer attempts? Well, we can set a deadline. I think that is not the case, but we could solve it setting a deadline. I don't think that could happen. You might fail the first receiver, the second, but I don't think it will continue failing. You'll be able to select better who to transfer addresses to, or maybe you can do it through a broker and they will know how to check in advance. I think this is something that could happen temporarily, but there will be fewer and fewer cases of failed transfers. I'm sure about that. Thank you, Jordi. And we have one question here in the room. Sergio. Sergio Rojas. Let me just quickly mention for those of you who don't know it that Lightning has a transfer list and you can make a submission and then be authorized for a potential receiver or potential, what's the opposite of receiver? Transfer or the one that transfers, okay. So if you are not familiar with it, I just wanted to add that offer, okay. Thank you, Sergio. But her, you froze. I'm just looking at the landscape. I have a beautiful landscape right here in front of me. Okay, we have more questions. Bueno, muchas gracias a todos por compartir su opinión. Eh, y le damos la bienvenida oficial a Franco. Let me welcome Franco. Gabriel, this is his first form with him. Welcome officially, Franco Cabrera. We will now gauge the temperature to consider at the time of voting and consensus. Remember that we are not voting, even though Zoom may use that word. So the result of this poll does not mean that the proposal will or not reach consensus. Consensus is assessed with the comments and the comments on the mailing list. So let's look at the poll, poll number four, and our assistants in Uruguay will, those in favor, raise your hand. Those against the proposal, raise your hand. Thank you. And abstentions, please raise your hand as well. Thank you. And the polls completed as well. Great. We have the poll results. Encuesta número cuatro. Poll number four. Seventeen percent in favor, forty percent against, and forty three percent abstention. Again more than two people, of course, were answering the poll. So those in favor, against, or those that did not vote, it would be great for you to, to send us your justification or you can do it 
on the mailing list as well. So LAC 2021 4 version 1 permission to transfer a non return of resources has already been under discussion for eight weeks. So as of today and for two weeks, the chairs will have time to let the community know if the proposal has reached consensus. So you can continue on with the discussion in the policy list together with the other proposals being reviewed. We will now have a coffee break. We will have it a bit earlier than scheduled. Yes, no problem. We will come back in 15 minutes. Okay, great. We'll have a break now and we will come back in 15 minutes. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you, Tomas. We will go on a short coffee break. We'll continue with the last part of our forum. We'll come back at, at 2015. Thank you.